What is up guys, it's Moritz here from Section Stones again. Today we're going to be having a look at this bang of a section right here. You can easily navigate through collections on this feature tab collection section. And I'm going to show you how you can fully customize it so it's going to fit the style of the store. And I got a little example here. I'm using it for my surfboard shop. So you can see it looks pretty nice and all the customization options are done within the Dawn theme editor. And I just say we jump right into it. First thing you want to be doing is heading on over to the Shopify app store where you want to look for section store. It's a theme library for over 130 customizable Shopify sections. And, and then we're going to head back to the Shopify admin area where I have opened up the app already. And you can simply do that by clicking on apps or search up here for section store and the app should open up in no time. Look for sections and then we're going to let it load up. And here we have it already. Let's just click on it. The app itself is completely free, but for this section, it's going to be a one-time charge of $9. There are no recurring subscription fees or anything. That means if you bought it once, you're going to own that lovely section forever. Alrighty. I already bought it. And if you've done that, you're going to head back to the home area. There's one more little step we have to do. And that one is to actually install the section into your store. And we can simply do that by clicking on add to theme. I'm using the Dawn Light theme. So I'm going to click on here and the section is installed. Easy as that. And after we've done that, we're going to open up the theme editor right here. I've done so already, so I'm just going to jump right into it. And here you can see the sectioner you saw in the beginning of the video. It's that one right here. I'm just going to hide it for this video. So I'm going to show you from scratch how you can get a section like that and fully we'll customize it. So yeah, we're going to click on sections, type in SS, featured collection tabs. And here we should get the base version of it already. So you can see how the whole thing is going to look like without even having to put collections in it. We're just going to put a random collection in the first one. So we can have a look. So we're going to name it surfboards, pick a collection. Let's do all surfboards. And now we can do some customizations to it. The first thing I want to be doing is make the product count four. So we only see four products in a row. As you can see here, and we can decide how many products are in a row, either on the desktop or mobile. So if I click on mobile right here, you can see we got two products in a row. That looks nice to me. Switch back to desktop and here we can add some simple margins and every button on those tabs is customizable as well. So you can pick a custom collection. So we're going to do shop boards and then we can set that again. So we click on collections, all surfboards. And if I click on new arrivals, for example, I can pick a different collection. So I'm going to do leashes here, shop leashes. And in a second, you should see what I mean. So we can pick leashes here. Exactly. And do leashes. Perfect. That looks good to me. And now we want to do some random customizations to the whole thing itself. So it fits the overall style of the rest of my store. So we have a lot of purple going on here, a bit of orange, and we try to include that in the styling of all that section. Alrighty, tabs color, great. I'm not that happy with that. I'm going to pick a dark purple because we use that a lot in the rest of the store. The active one, I want to use a bit of a brighter purple so we can definitely see it's highlighted. You can change the font size of the whole thing so we can Make it a bit bigger, also on mobile, and the bottom it has underneath it is changeable as well. So you can see that little thing here, that is changeable. We can change the alignment of the thing. I think the center looks quite good on this one. The spacing between the tabs, you can see that as well. On mobile, it's the same. Um, you can show the secondary image on hover. So if you hover over it, the second image in your product collection is going to show. I'm going to keep it. Uh, the product title color, changeable as well. I'm just going to do a bit of a rough example here so you can see what I'm talking about. The discounted price color, 
want to have that in purple and the normal price color which we want to have in purple as well sweet that looks nice and that button is changeable as well we're gonna make it purple font and the background color on hover should stay black we're gonna keep that and the overall button color we want to have that in purple sweet that looks nice and yeah there are some customizations we can do to the button as well like changing the radius and stuff like that and yeah i just say we save it all up the rest of the customization options are just simple stuff like margin padding to the whole thing and the section itself so we save it up and i'm gonna blend in the other one as well so we have an even nicer looking example and we're simply gonna reload the whole thing so you can see how it looks like scroll all the way down that's the section we built and we didn't link a collection here but if we did you can see it's simply just switching around and the button here is changing as well it always says what you linked it to and that pretty much brings us to the end i hope you guys found that useful and if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow definitely helps us to keep up the motivation to build more sections like this and with that being said have a good one guys and peace out